Hey there, it's me, Red Knight, and welcome back to Heyday. And we are playing my level 120 farm today, so the big farm. Now, one thing I've noticed is the postman has just delivered a beautiful blue box. And I like the color blue, because it actually matches my eyes. Well, well my eyes are kind of blue-green, but uh, it's still good enough. Let's go have a look. Oh, yeah, diamonds. Perfect. I like it. So, hi Ricky, thank you for everyone's participation in the global event. We did it together. It was a success. Please accept this reward as a thank you for your contributions. I like that. So, I have three farms. There's my big farm, there's my middle farm now, and then there's William's farm, which I'm now managing as well. So, 30 diamonds have been awarded to me. Yay! Yeah, I like that one. So, let's go claim those diamonds. Sorry, claim those diamonds again. And there they go into my little kitty. So 2,845. Now, diamonds are nice. I can use those at some stage in the game. But let's start collecting my coins and playing the game. Because we are working towards level 121. We need 100,000 experience points. And I'm not going to get that in today's video. But when I do get there, I will get a new piece of land. Now, hey day, I have a very, very strong request, and I hope that you will take this one into consideration for the future. One piece of land is very, very nice, but can I get some more, please? Level 121 gives one piece of land. Whoa. Now, the diamonds are kind of nice. 12 diamonds is good, but that one single piece of land is like two crops. And depending on the crop depends on how long it takes, but it's still two crops. Uh, I would like to see, if possible, more land awarded as we move up within the level structure. I think that would be a wonderful idea, and if I could get more fields, uh, it would be really, really good indeed, and it would please me greatly. Okay, well, Tom, hello, go back to sleep. I don't need you today. We've got a Will of Fortune there, and I like that one. There is a blue voucher up for grabs. I specifically like the look of those ores that are there, so if I'm lucky, I might get that one. I might even get the blue voucher, but we will have to wait and see. Uh, the Tom booster would be very nice indeed, as would the path piece. I would like that. Rest I'm not too concerned about, but uh, if I spin it, let's see what we're going to get. So, around and around it goes. Where it's going to stop, I don't know, and it's a blue voucher. Yeah, it's almost as if I knew I was going to get blue. Now, I like the blue vouchers. They will go towards my collection, and we're starting to build them back up again, which is nice. Movie theatre reward. What's it going to give me? I got an axe, which is good. Thank you very much. What are we going to get for the second one? A stick of dynamite. I'll take that as well. So, all movies are watched. Do my hoodies need anything? No. Let's quickly just close off on the messages. If anybody needs anything down there, there's a help request. Let's go and have a look. Tweety Pie needs something. This one is a boat, and I don't have the strawberry jam. Oh my god, but she does have a toolbox. And are there any revives down there? No, 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 no. Oh dear, I can't help out. Some nice resources. I'll take those bricks. I'm not really concerned about until I level up a little bit more within my town. But we are getting there. So that's as best as I can do. Decline that one since I don't need it. And I've got a boat that's arrived. Let's have a look. Right, this one is a puzzle piece there, which looks good. I'll take that one as well. Sorry, what I mean puzzle piece? It looks like a Christmas present. I'll do that as well. we we'll do the eggs and bacon again, because that's more experience points. So 822,000 now. Can't do any of the goat's cheese. Oh, that's not good. Right, so what should I do? Request for help on that one, that one, and that one. Let's go check my actual dairy. Did I make any goat's cheese? No, I didn't. Right, okay, I got 55 of the goat's milk, so I better start producing some of this. It's definitely needed within the game. Uh, might request that on the last one as well. And this is obviously an event. What's it to say? Booster boat season. It's river boat season and tourism is at its peak. For the duration of this event, every completed boat will reward a booster. Oh no. Uh, don't forget to visit your friends and help out with their boats too. Note extra booster rewards are given only with boats that arrive to your farm after that event has started. Also keep in mind that if your boat was already on its way to your farm before the event started, it won't contain a booster reward either. Puzzle boat pieces arriving during this event will not contain a booster. 
Okay, so there's the possibility that this one contains a booster, which is very, very nice indeed. However, could be a bit of an issue because I think I have... Oh, yes, I do have space. That's good. Okay, that's nice. The boosters I had have now expired, so any boosters I get for this event, I can use those ones. Yeah, just need the one more crate filling, of course, and that is good. Okay, that will please me nicely. Right, my donkeys need feeding. That's more experience points, which is good. I'll take those. My horses, too. I'll do that, which is wonderful. And more rewards there as well. Actually, how am I doing on expansion? Let's have a look. Okay, all right. I've got excess amount of duct tape. Might have to sell that off. We're getting very close to actually upgrading my barn. Now, in the live stream we did the other day, we were actually talking about possible changes or ways of improving the game. And one that we actually came up with that I really liked was uh, basically a an expansion menu. So you could see what's needed for your farm, you could see what's needed for the town, you could see what's needed for your barn and your silo, uh, you could see each of the land pieces that are still outstanding, both in the fishing area and on your actual farm. You could see how many machines have got two or three stars on it, which I thought was wonderful as well. You could also see what the buildings require within the town. And then through tapping that, instead of actually going to that area, you could either update that and upgrade that specific point in one go from that menu, or you could actually click on the button, it will take you to that location, and then you can upgrade within that building or that piece of land from being jumped to it quickly. So that is a very, very cool concept idea, and I like that one a lot. It would certainly make it easier for me to have a menu style option uh, within the game UI uh, to allow me to go to those different places and basically upgrade or open up or expand. It could be really, really cool. So, hey, Dave, I hope you like that idea. It's going to be on the list of ideas for the boosters and for the events and other items that we would like to see within the game. I've actually had a request from somebody else, please do another stream, because uh, they've enjoyed the last two streams where we discussed all of these ideas. They thought it was wonderful. But they would like to actually do a stream where we talk about new products as well that they'd like to see within the game. So time permitting, I might do that one as well. I think that could be very, very fun. Now, according to my actual resources there, I've run out of wheat. Oh dear, uh, that could be a slight problem. Actually, not a problem at all. It won't be, or it won't cause me any difficulties at all, which is fine. Right, now, those foxes are not really moving over, are they? So, let's entice them down and around and then shift them over a little bit. Let's see if we can change them in their directional path. They're still clumping up. Okay, we've gained the load of new foxes, which is wonderful. I might take the fence away there, thus bringing more into the area which will be good as well. Uh, okay, it means that some of those will be released, which is not really a problem, but it's allowing me to capture more and more foxes in my fox trap. And I like it, I really, really do. I, I'm tempted actually to release this area across the road, allow those foxes to disappear, because I've got plenty there now, and I think maybe that's enough for me. In fact, you know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to release the foxes, everybody. I think I've got enough foxes within my fox trap there to keep me going. I don't really need any more. So I'm really, really tempted now to actually remove the land so here we go. Once we start removing that farmland that's down there, those foxes will have the ability to disappear. And you can see already the way those foxes over there within the trap are liking the option. In fact, some of the foxes that are there across the road now are actually disappearing, which is super, super cool. So very, very soon they will be released and on their way. So freedom! Uh, I think they're happy about that one, but uh, we're going to modify this area slightly, create a nice little kind of curved style design coming up here. Maybe I'll bring that one down on the inside and take away some of this fencing as well. Okay, can't do that one. Let's bring that over to there, that one over to there as well. And what I will do, I think, is create a nice little diagonal path that runs up on the inside of my trees. There we go. 
that looks very pretty. I think I like that one. So keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And the last one, and the foxes are now gone. Look at that. Isn't it good? They have left the area, everybody. Now we're going to bring that one up to there as well. We we'll remove that one there to there for the moment. Move the fence down. Don't you even think about it. You're not going anywhere, young foxes. So they liked that. They've moved. Now, because they've moved over, I can move the fencing over as well, which is kind of cool. Put that one back into storage. Take that one back into storage. It's a, a excitement is in the air. The foxes are thinking, hey, we can actually get away now. And there's no more being trapped in this area. But I'm afraid that's not going to happen. You're staying there, my little pretty ones. I like you too much. However, I will still keep the fencing place so you don't all disappear. Right, okay. Would like to do this in the edit mode, but if I do it in the edit mode, then they will all run away because they will be released from this design, which is a little bit on the unsafe side for me. I want to keep the foxes. Okay, right, we'll take away that inside piece as well, create a nice diagonal, I kind of like the diagonal option there. Okay, there we go. Take that center one away there as well, and I think that's nice. Bring those flowers into the gap there, bring that one down as well. That one over to there, come on, get back in now. And there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love these flowers. They are gorgeous. So, always get the pronunciation wrong, but uh, that's besides the point. But they do look very, very pretty indeed. And I like that one. So, let's get rid of the fencing there as well. Okay, my foxes may decide to go out the back way and disappear. But I do like what I've done. And that's a nice fenced end beautiful design so it does look kind of cool there doesn't it so I might bring that around a little bit more anyway hang on let's try this double up on that side there and then come down here make that a triple line of flowers then bring that one down to there that one down to there and then that one into the corner okay so even though they're flowers at the moment they will be a little different later. Right, my path piece is still in place. My foxes are still contained within their area. Uh, they may disappear and they may escape, but all the foxes that were trapped there are now released, which means I can start redesigning as well. And maybe that's a little easier for me to farm. Now, according to this, I need some uh, of the wheat. So I've run out of wheat, as you can see. There's a diamond there. There's a lot of products that still need to be grown, which is not a problem. I'm going to place the flowers back down because they are beautiful, and I need lots of those. So if I level up, I can gain a new piece, and that will go there just nicely. So I can't wait. One more piece of farmland. It will be good. Ooh, my wheat is ready. That's why i got no wheat left. I used it all the other day to prepare the animal feed for the town. Right, now, because I've run out of wheat, I'm going to have to go to the newspaper. I'm not spending diamonds on that one. So there's one wheat there for 10 coins, one for 10 coins, one for 10 coins, one for 10 coins, two for now. The other ones there are a little bit more expensive. What level is person? There are 23. Okay, they're requesting help, but I can't do. Toolbox I will take. Now, should I help them out or not? I wonder. Now, they've binned all their orders. Let's have a look at how they're doing within their neighborhood. So, there's a few people in there. Looks like they're having a little bit of fun, but no, I'm going to be greedy. I'm only going to take the ones that are cheap. Sorry. Let's try another one. So, there's 10 wheats down there as well. That one's sold out. Oh, my goodness me. Ooh, hotel design. I really need to start making these again. I miss that. I used to enjoy looking at these hotel style buildings and I made some wonderful hotels in the past. So I'm actually tempted to start doing this again with the new Maggie design features we've got where we can buy back or redecorate. I could create some beautiful hotel style designs just like this farmhouse. So that one's actually pretty cool. 
Uh, and I like the way they're using the blue roof there with the combination of the brown walls and the gazebos as well. So that one's actually a nice design. Okay, they need to lose the Christmas decoration. Uh, it's not Christmas and that season is over and done with. A lot of dead trees, which is nice. Okay, everything else. Mm, okay, there's some nice other little pieces, but the house is the best option. Right, let's go checking again. Any more cheap wheat? Actually, I didn't have a look. There's a new one there. So what's that one? There it is. Must miss that. Okay, we've got enough wheat to keep me going for the time being. My boat's still not done, but that's not a problem. Hopefully, sooner or later, somebody will actually come online and be able to do that. Uh, let's go collect some resources, and i get those ones done as well. we we'll take that for the machines that I've been doing. There we go. Lovely, 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 lovely. Uh, some soy sauce back in there as well, because I want to make something later. And we get the products from down there. More XP as well. And that is good. Come back down here, take the flowers, get my juices on the go, take those, and more experience points. Now, lovely, 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 lovely. I like it. Okay, sugar, we need to start producing more, but I'm really out of sugar, aren't I? Oh my god, I better wait till the sugar cane is grown first, and then double up on that one, and then triple up on that one, then start doing it. We've got an excessive amount of wool there. I got a load of that one in because I wanted to focus on getting some more products. And we've got a good quantity of flour, so I can mix and match these now, and then get some new sweaters added in, which is good. Okay, general products we're doing okay there. Let me just confirm. We need some more eggs and bacon because I just did those. I need some more bacon from my piggies. Come on, little piggies. Give it up. There we go. Lovely jobbly. I love bacon. I really do. I'm actually thinking of traveling back to the UK for the Christmas period. And when I do go back to England, I'm so tempted to go to a local... Greasy Joe's, a local cafe, and have a beautiful bacon butty with brown sauce. Maybe I will do a bacon butty one day, a full English breakfast another day, oh, and a gorgeous cup of coffee. Now, I could have a cup of tea because UK cafe tea is very milky and the right color as well. So I'm tempted actually to come off the coffee and go with the tea for a change. Uh, just don't tell anybody though. So can't have people thinking I drink tea sometimes. Actually I drink a lot of tea, but usually I drink barley tea. Okay, some more juices. We'll load up there until all the berries are gone again. And there they go go. Next machine. How are we doing? Need some more of the gnocchi. We do that one. Takes me up to 13. Get some lobster pasta around there as well. We need more cheese and we need more cheese. Okay, sure. Can't do any cheese at the moment because we're actually producing some other items. Keep going around on the machines. Right, sushi. Okay, I've got a load of... <laughs> wheat now, but I've actually run out of eggs. Oh dear, and that's why I wanted to do this. So, uh, my sushi stores were down, so I need eggs now. So we need to go and find some eggs. There's 10 eggs there, I'll take those. And we're gonna look again for more eggs. Come to me, little eggs. Eggs, another 10 over there, miss those ones. Any more eggs for sale? Do, 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 do. I'll take those as well. And any more eggs for sale? No. Nope. Well, that's good enough. We can start. My foxes are moving around. I hope they like the contained area. I think I've done enough to keep them happy. Okay, all right. Egg sushi, first of all. That's the bigger priority. And now I've run out of eggs again. Oh, my God. They go so quickly. All right. Let's go hunting one more time. Any eggs? Shall we come back? And no. Toolbox. Okay. Locked. Oh dear, we've got to wait for the newspaper to be ready again. So at the moment, I can't. So come on, hurry up, newspaper, cycle through. I'm waiting for the little red mark above there to start moving again to say that the new newspaper is ready. Will it do it while I'm watching or not? Or does it want me to go away? So maybe I should go away and just let it do what it needs to do. But I'm very impatient, so... Nope, still not ready. Nope, still not ready. Yep, I'm really impatient. Come on, hurry up. 
We're waiting, 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 waiting. There should be a newspaper soon. Come on, newspaper. How do you open the liver? <laughs> I need my eggs. Do 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 waiting, 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 waiting. And we're still waiting, and we're still waiting. Check again, and no, nope, it's still there. So we're still waiting, we're still waiting, we're still waiting. Let's go check a message. Anything for me? Ooh. Okay, well, the boat's been done, so thank you for the boat. Okay. Sure. Thanks for the crates. We can send that boat on its way. And is it flashing it? There it is. It's moving now. So will we get those eggs before they disappear? Yes, we can. Take those and the milk since I'm here. And I'll take the bread too. It's always good to buy bread. More eggs down there. Take those ones as well. And let's keep looking, looking, looking. Some more eggs down as well. Oh, jackpot. I like that. And another set of eggs there. I think I've got enough now to keep me going. Sure, can't help out with that one, sorry. But I do appreciate the eggs, everybody. Now we come back down here for this machine. We've loaded up the egg sushi with five of those. We still need a little bit more egg sushi, but I've got to be careful. I don't go down too much with the actual rice. So this lot will be ready soon. I can start grossing the, growing the rice again, which is good. So we've got enough basic crops now to keep me happy. So rice is the next item. So where are you? Rice, 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 rice. Did a load of rice the other day. We're going to do a load of rice again, which is good. Right, chopping down my bee bushes. We've run out of bee bushes. So we better place more in. Uh, the idea that somebody gave as well about having more hive trees, I totally agree with. I'd love to have them. Or the idea, second concept idea, was to actually have regular beehives, the wooden ones that you can place around. So you have a hive tree as one option, but you also have a beehive as well that could be placed at strategic locations, and that could be really, really cool. That would certainly look very interesting, I know that. Right, okay, I think we've got enough on the go there for the moment, which is good. Okay, that machine I can't do much more with. A few more there to load up once I get the resources again. Mm, okay, looking, looking, looking. Uh, okay. Actually, I better go back and do that boat. It's been done now, hasn't it? Alright. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, that boat should be ready. What are we going to get? So, according to this, it is boosters. So, will this be a good booster or not? Or is that a prize from something else? So, it's a Tom booster. Ooh, I like the look of that one. A Tom booster is good. And what's it going to be? <gasps> 40% shorter. No, I don't want sleepy boosters. I want boosters that are actually having him working. So, Tom's nap is 40% faster for the next 12 hours. That's good, but it's like 6.09 here in Japan. I'll go to bed in about another 6 hours, and then I've got to get up again and go to work, so it's not really beneficial for me. I've got two beautiful boosters there that could be used, but uh, not really the most beneficial. Next boat will come in about a three hours or something of minutes, and that will give me another one. So, will I be trashing these boosters or using them, I wonder? Hmm, we're going to have to think about this. Alright, well, let's get feed on the go anyway, and then I need to go over to my town, sort those ones out, because there are a few animals down there that need feeding as well. So we made loads of these the other day, which is really, really good. So I'm pleased about that. Okay, alright, so we can't feed my chickens for the moment. The machine's loaded up. Let's get some more popcorn on the go down there as well. It's always nice to have a lot of popcorn. Tea machine, yes, we get the tea on the go now because I grew loads of dish. A little bit more down there, better make some more later. <gasps> There's a fox. What is that fox doing down there? Why is he not over in my fox trap? But then again, is he going to explore? If so, come on over and do it. And I think 
I do agree. We need some interactive characters that are in the game that walk around our farms as well or drive up and down. So I love that idea. I really, 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 really do. And I hope Heyday does implement it as well. It would be a really good concept. Okay, loading up the machines. Then we go check the town. We still need the cheese. Oh dear. Okay, we're doing pretty good over here. Okay, we've run out of resources. No worries. Taco. Okay, fish taco. Quesadilla we need. And yep, we still need cheese. Okay, let's get some honey back on the go again. There we go. Come on. And let's get the jam going as well. We ran out of strawberry jam, didn't we? Okay. Sauces are making. Pasta, we've got plenty. And noodles, we can't do at the moment. Okay, those machines are good. Right, town, town, town. Then I have to call the video an end, because it's getting on a bit. Okay, the train comes in. The passengers are gone. They've been served. We open the toolbox. We send more patches on the way. So 36,000 now. Show. Let's see if we can get that up to 37,000. 36,870. Show. Come on. I want 37,000 today. Give me 37,000. And we're almost there. There we go. 37,000. We now only need another 2,000 more experience points. And then we can think about leveling up the town again and start focusing on what needs to be done within the town which will be really 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 good right let's feed my animals and make those happy yeah, rowdy ranch go back to sleep okay there we go spinning 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 redder and the 13th of july join me oh 13th of july that's my birthday Okay, those ones are done. No puzzle pieces to be added. Look at that. No, no, no. Getting close, though. We could get my second hippo soon. The brown hippo, 27 to 36. Uh, we've got the two elephants. We've got the two giraffes. So definitely very, very close indeed. So I need more puzzle pieces. Then I can start working on my babies. Need more babies as well. I think we need more babies in the world. Absolutely. So more baby animals will be good. Right, send these to their buildings, and once they are done, then I can send away the triple visitors, because I never use those ones. Oh, I do use them, it's not that I don't, it's just that I prefer to turn my visitors around more quickly. Having the triple visitors is fine, but I still prefer one and two visitors. Even though with having visitors to go to three buildings, you do get more money out of it in the long run, and the same with coins and XP. But uh, like I said, I'm in no rush. Bum, ba -ba -dum, bum, bum. Cinema, and these visitors have not been done. Sure. New passengers, new passengers, sending them to any of the buildings. Okay, BNB is now full up. Do 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 do. Now I do have a booster for the town. I had some boosters yesterday which were very good. But again because of time commitments I can't make the maximum benefit out of them. Really wish we could have a better booster storage system. Send those ones away. We can get another 10 from passengers but let's see what we got building wise first of all. So we got some down there. We can get some more in the beach cafe which would be good. B&B is totally chockers. So it must be a convention on in town. I've got a lot of visitors. And I still can't do the chocolates. Okay. Oh dear. I started making honey, not wax. Maybe I should have done the town first, but not a problem. Alright, necklace there. Better make that necklace soon, I think. They've been waiting for days. I uh, might have to send them on their way if they keep waiting any longer. Yep, need the chocolates. I need chocolate drinks. So, chocolate drinks, chocolate drinks, chocolate drinks. What resources do I need for chocolate drinks? Did have that, but I used it. So, oh dear. Okay, well, that's nice. And I could go and pick up 10 more passengers, but my town is kind of full up at the moment, I think. So, we'll let the visitors go down a little bit more, and then later we'll go back and check. There's still plenty of time. Right, back to the town it is. Oh, sorry, back to the farm it is, not the town. We're leaving the town behind. There's a few easy ones down there to do once I've got the resources, but those chocolate drinks are something that keep chasing me. And I need creams. So, <sighs> not going to happen for a little while, but oh well. Okay, I will have to have a look. 
So we'll do so later, time permitting. Okay, check, 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 check. We're doing nicely. We need a necklace made from what I remember, so which means I'm going to need, according to this, I need platinum bars. So I've got no platinum left in my storage, but I do have lots of mine expansion materials, or sorry, explosive materials. Let's see if we can get any platinum to get some bars on the go. If I get a few more ores as well, not a problem, it will be good enough. So I think that's enough. We should have some platinum there now. Let's have a look. Yes, we can get one bar going. Wonderful. The rest I don't really need, so we just load up any old machine and just get them going. And all the machines can be working. Uh, keep the iron bar, I think, for the moment. So iron bar I can use down here in my flower shop, because I need that one. Need some more iron bars. I think more iron ores would be good. Right, okay, I'm finished, everybody. I've played for a little bit, I've cleared up my fox trap, I've released my foxes, they are happy, I've claimed my prizes, I've still got to go to my other two farms and claim their ten diamonds as well. Uh, we've done the town, we've done a little bit of it, just a nice little chat and play as I play th through my game. Hope you like my fox trap area. It's a design and modification process that we've gone through over a lot of streams, enticing the foxes to coming in, then waiting for them to move over. I think the actual having of the farmland across the road there does allow you to build up a good number of foxes as well. So one blocking off and two blocking off down there really do allow you to be a lot more creative. And as my foxes move over, I've got the ability of actually moving the fence with them as well, which is really, really good. That will actually make it easier for me to compact them into a more smaller compartment, thus allowing me to be a little bit more creative with my space as well. So I can now modify that one a little bit more now that they've moved over. Yay! I like it. Unless, of course, they're looking at my rabbit, which is kind of like very scary for my rabbit. So, little rabbit, little rabbit, do watch out. Okay, right, well, that's me, Red Knight, finished for the day. I'm going to go and get myself something to eat now and maybe a little drink of coffee as well. I will see you next time in one of my videos or my live streams. Remember, I live stream twice weekly. So every Tuesday and Friday Japan time, on Tuesday from 9 in the morning till about 3 in the afternoon, give or take work schedules and family commitments. And on Friday as well. Well, so Friday's usually from 3 till 9 p.m. So you've got a very, very good coverage there. Now, please be aware that with my live streams, I am sometimes starting later or finishing early. Like I said, family is a bigger priority for me. And then work as well. Okay, make sure you hit the like button for today's video. Do like the other videos as well. Please do watch them before you like and dislike as well. It's kind of nice to know that you guys have actually seen the video before you actually dislike it or like it. Uh, especially when I get dislikes when people haven't had a chance to watch it. And that's the same in both cases with the like. Uh, but do hit the like button as well. It's really nice if you do like the video. If you wish to leave comments below, please do so. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, if you're brand new. And even if you are subscribed, check the bell notification. That bell notification is very important for letting you know when we are live streaming or not. And if you are subscribed to the actual Heyday YouTube, please go over there and check season one, video number three. There is a brand new Meet the Farmer video, and it's pretty good. Now, make sure you check where the uh, subtitles as well so you can understand it but enjoy it either way see you next time take care have fun and good farming everybody bye now